okay, so this is the holy book. <laughs> now, this is one of many, many sketchbooks, and this one's actually sketched in a, in, a, in, a, in a book by Robert Hennett, The Art Spirit, which is the Bible. When we were in art school, you had to go out and buy it. I sketch in some normal sketchbooks all the time. My favorite subject is Fred Kelly because he always comes in with different disguises. He plays Santa Claus sometimes, he comes in with mustache, sometimes he comes with long hair, sometimes he comes with short hair. Anyway, and he's always, uh, he always lets, he allows me to draw him. The reason that these sketches are in a book is because I was uh, sitting somewhere and I saw something I, I wish I had, and I didn't have a sketchbook with me, but I was reading a book, so I, I, I drew in the, in the book that I was reading and I love the way the words came through. It was another element, you know, you just wouldn't... And it's almost they become part of the drawing. So I'm just sketching as I normally would in, in, uh, in my daily travels, and my daily hanging out. And then, and then the words somehow magically sometimes will apply to the drawing. And it's, kind of, it's a nice marriage, it's a happy marriage, you know. And this approach that because... What I, what I loved about this picture when I took it, number one, in, at that time, this was an extreme wide-angle picture. Now wide-angle pictures are very common. But at that time, this was uh, extraordinary. With uh, uh, You didn't see a lot of wide-angle pictures. The 35 was considered wide, and this was a 21 millimeter. When I started taking this picture, it was all gray. And I'm squatting down, taking this guy. He's given this wonderful uh, uh, jokes and stories that he's telling about having tea with the queen and that he's been on the moon. They were part of the act, this couple, and he would say, I'm lousy from the waist up, lousy from the waist down, and she would scream, and you're lousy all over, and then she would keep poking him with the umbrella and stuff. Well, the whole point is, the sky was dark, and it was a gray, overcast day, and, for, and while I'm down squatting, for one brief moment, maybe five seconds, the sun came out and cast these shadows. Shadows gives it a theatrical kind of a look, and I was so excited. I mean, this was truly what's exciting in photography. When something happens, you happen to be... This, is, this came from a, a big series of uh, paintings that came from uh, my experience in Somalia. The point is that out of that experience, I started doing these figures with their arms out. The arms out is a kind of a Christ thing, of course. You know, everyone relates to Christ on the cross. But also, there's an artist in, in California named Nathan Oliveira, who was a huge influence on myself and all my fellow students. That stayed with me. I mean, it was really my love for Nathan Oliveira's work, the arms out. And I just, it just was kind of dramatic in, in a lot of different ways. But in this particular one, this came out, and then it started evolving into <coughs> someone in a, what I would hope is an elegant dress. And then it became a stage, and then a shadow went in. And it wasn't, it just didn't seem to, so I started writing in it with different, uh, uh, and what, the writing is all about story, because the, when this was done, it reminded me of something that happened when we were kids. A dance teacher in our small town, uh, Mrs. Villanueva, <clears throat> and my sister was one of her students. And so, uh, so that was uh, very unlucky for me because then my mother would drag me to the recitals at the Fox Theater every year. And I just found it amusing that every year uh, I would sit through these, uh, all these cute little girls dancing around in their tutus. But at the end, Mrs. Villanueva would come out on the stage and very pl proudly announce that now her daughter will perform Swan Lake. Again. <laughs> Had to conclude that of all the people I've met in the world, uh, Lee Romero is clearly the most creative. And by that I don't mean that he's Leonardo da Vinci or that he has spectacular talent. I mean, yes, yes, considerable talent. But I do believe that if I had to go to jail and if I could choose somebody to go to jail with, of all the people in the world that I could choose, I would, uh, I'm sorry to tell him that, but. I would choose him because he was going to amuse me. He combines creativity with play. It isn't something you'd necessarily do for your career. It isn't something you do to enhance your status. It is because you can't help it. And he makes me see things I would otherwise not see, feel things I would otherwise not feel. 
and understand things I would otherwise not understand, and I salute him for that.